Hamlet M. Malan. So that's where our, this is where the solution to our problem lies in terms of unraveling our culture and then reclaiming it and practicing it. Yes, sir. You have, brother, rescue me if I'm wrong, but from what I'm, I gather from what I've heard is that you made, uh, what you're actually saying is that we need to come out of America, that there's some things that are going to take place in historical based on what is in Khufu's pyramid that you're actually warning us that in the West is death. Now, are you actually saying that we need to come back home? Yes, yeah, I'm equivocally saying that you need to come back home. Okay. And you need to do it quick. And I will tell you, not that I'm saying it, you will come back home. Mm -hmm. Because it is written. It is written. in the right. pyramid. It is written by the ancestors that you will come back to the continent. Mm -hmm. They said, as it was in the beginning, so it shall be in the end. We went into the forest to get away from the assault on our civilization, to save the race. And if it had not been for the malaria mosquito, the malaria mosquito, and in Sierra Leone today, they give the most highest award for any heroic act. It's called the Mosquito Award because it was the mosquito that prevented the assault of the Arabs and the Europeans from going deep into the interior. I'm telling you, when you see the mosquito, you need to kiss it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The mosquito did its best. Because we know then they penetrated and we lost over 130 million Africans. That's right. And the most majority of them that went down did not be killed on the land or in Mississippi. They died in the Middle Passage. And speaking of the Middle Passage, to show you how merciful our God is, retribution always comes. The Middle Passage where all of our ancestors were taken as slaves and over 130 million of them died. All the hurricanes today that hit these same slave ports that happened in America come and starts right here off the African coast. Mm. Mm. But they never hit the African coast. Mm. We don't have hurricanes here. Wow. And they travel over the same middle passage that our ancestors were traveling And when they embark the havoc on the landmass they touch down on, mm. are the same slave ports that embark our ancestors. Yes. Texas, Brownsville, Biloxi, Mississippi, yes. Florida, yes. Mobile, Alabama, yes. Raleigh, South Carolina, yes. all in those areas. Yes. All in those, South America, yes. that's what they hit. Right. Now, is that a lie? No, I'm that's telling true. you the that's truth. True. And they never touch the coast here. They never touch the coast, but they start here. Mm. So what goes around comes, comes around. around. Now, I don't want to go into this whole catharsis of who sold whom, and, but we know that a lot of selling was going on by the brothers and sisters here and selling brothers and sisters over there. But let me stop and make one thing unequivocally clear so you have no doubt about it. The African did not start institutional slavery. Mm -hmm. The white man started that. He infused that into the African system. He tore down the socio-political economic situation where